This is Blender. Let's make a ghost. I'm going to click General, and now that I've done so, I'm going to go ahead and hide the light in the camera. I'm not going to need the cube, so Object Delete. And what I'm going to add here is a UV sphere. I want that UV sphere at about 3Z. So here it is. That is looking good. And let's go ahead and go into edit mode for my UV sphere. I'm going to click on X and face select. I just want to get the bottom portion. Let's use the X-ray mode. So just the bottom portion of this sphere. I'm going to pull it straight down so it just barely... Well, let's have it go right past X. Boom. It doesn't need to be exact. You don't need to stress about that. But if you're wondering, uh, actually, I'm going to go negative 2 point... 2.5. So a little bit up. All right. But again, doesn't have to be exact. Back into object mode. Click off of that. I'm going to click add mesh plane. Now this plane that I just added, I want to go ahead and put it actually at 5Z. And... I'm going to now scale it to be 5 and 5, 5, okay. We're going to head right into edit mode on it because we're going to need to subdivide it. That's how the cloth effect will work to make it look like a ghost. So edge, subdivide. The more times you do this, I'm going to put 20, maybe I'll put 30 actually. The more times you do it, the harder it is for your computer to render. If you have an older computer, don't do 30, try 20, so on and so forth. But there we go. I got mine all subdivided. Now, object mode. With my plane selected, I'm going to add a cloth modifier, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my collision modifier. Now, so it can actually fall on this, I'm going to also add a collision modifier to it. Let's hit play. Boom. And there it goes. It's falling. It kind of wraps around. I'm going to turn off x-ray so I can see better, and we can watch it. Now I need to pick when to apply it. When do I like the shape the most. And so I can just pause and kind of see what I'm thinking here. Um, probably right around this is what I like. So now that I know I like that, I'm going to click on the shape and click apply my cloth. And there we go. No longer changes. So now we need to add the eyes and mouth. Let's go into edit mode. I'm going to zoom in. I just need to pick a spot. I'm in face select. Let me select. Uh, I'm thinking here. And what I'll do then is mesh, delete, face. And then right here as well, mesh. Delete, face, and then for mouth, mouth's kind of up to you. I'm going to put mine right here. And then let's go back into object mode. I want to go ahead and click on this sphere underneath this. Okay, so I have that selected. I'm going to add a color to it just so I can see it. Add material, black, up, and whoop, there we are. So now you can kind of see what I selected. Now I'm going to click on my ghost shape here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to modifiers. And now I want a subdivision surface modifier. And probably... Something like a 4 and a 4. Keep in mind, if you're not liking how yours looks, you can just dive right into edit mode here and start messing around with these vertices. Okay, maybe I want my mouth to be yelling. I don't know. Object. All right, and let's say I like it. I just click apply. And ta-da! I got a pretty cool looking ghost.